I want to start out with a little bit of appreciation today. A little bit of appreciation for you guys who are, uh, who are tuning into the streams or watching the clips or watching the videos. Uh, because honestly, like, I've been having a great time. Um, over the last year of 2023, I didn't really stream all that much because my focus was on graduating from my university. And I was really kind of searching for a direction to take the stream. Basically, uh... I, uh, I had a good time in Warframe, and I, we, we branched out after that with like a whole bunch of Among Us and Fallout and uh, Horizon Forbidden West and Horizon Zero Dawn. However, trying to find a groove of what I wanted to do was a, a little bit rough. <laughs> it was uh, it wasn't always easy, especially when you're when you're trying to do something where there isn't like in, an immediate community for it. like like let's say with Warframe was like an immediate community there, but I didn't really know. Like I was kind of searching like what the hell do I want to do? So I took a year long break, and now now I'm here, and uh, you know it's it's been a bit rough like starting up, like getting getting back into the rhythm however over the last couple of weeks i've been having this the greatest time it's it's seriously a, a lot of fun like i'm really enjoying like the, the variety that we have i was so much looking forward to to go into black myth wukong and then like today i was looking so much forward to like going to age of empires 2 and i'm also so much looking forward to like going back into warframe tomorrow and Trying to see if we can do something with the Senestar. And I love how everyone is kind of like in for every single little bit of it. I've not seen anyone come in and say like, Ah, man, is it Black Myth Wukong again? Duh, I hate that game. It's like, it's like people are so happy. <laughs> I love it. I, I really love it. And also being able to like explore like different games, like the metaphor game that we did yesterday. Um, I really, really like that. And uh, I have to say that for me right now, uh, it has taken a bit of time to get used to to the schedule now. Because uh, it's been a long time since I've done such, a, such an extensive schedule. Uh, basically, Basically, the, the biggest, most intensive stream schedule I've done back in the day was during the Fortuna days when I did um, eight hours a day every single weekday for a couple of months, and that was quite rough. Uh, that's not what I'm going to do now. Uh, I do at most like two times a week, like a six hour stream, and in between that, we do like the evening streams, and I think that balances it out quite well. It allows me time to do some clips, it allows me time to do something in the background, and uh, yeah, uh, it is. It takes some time to get used to, uh, and I think that right now, especially as I'm, as I'm starting up, like I'm gonna lean a little bit more on games. So we're gonna be playing a little, a little bit more of like the, the 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 metaphor games, or we're, we're gonna try like the Warframe or whatever, like Age of Empires. The streams are gonna be very much game focused because I need to get back into the groove of things, uh, especially on a day like today when I'm quite tired of the stream yesterday. I I I'd really like to lean on the game a little bit more, as I said last time in my uh, in my uh, streamer. And uh, like metaphor video, basically, where it's like, hey, streamers are like a captain sailing across islands, and uh, they can be very entertaining, or they can just like sail past a very interesting island, which is what the games are like. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm imagining that like if uh, if I'm a bit more used to this, we can definitely go into more of the of the just chatting topics because there's so many things I would love to talk about. I mean, <laughs> did you know there were some very very interesting Pokemon leaks? Hmm. Who knows? Maybe we'll get to talk about that someday. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Like, like those are things I would love to talk more of you about. Uh, but for now, uh, I just want to get into, into the groove of making everything work, especially on the technical side. Uh, Monday we had no stream because of uh, technical difficulties and so far everything seems to be going quite all right. So uh, sticking with that, hopefully uh, everything is going to keep on getting better. But so far I'm having a great, great time. I hope you're having a great time too. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. Like, yeah, <laughs> I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, uh, let's see what everyone has to say. Uh, did you play the new 1999 demo, uh, Eco Kid says? I thought you dropped out of communications. Did I drop out of communications? <laughs> Where? Are the communications that I have not played the 1999 demo, but that's also because uh, basically, uh, I'm not entirely called up with a game of Warframe because I'm working on a, on a bigger project. So, Afim says, uh, I'm here for Jin. Who are you again? That's fine. That's fine. No worries about it. I'm not complaining. Of course, I'm here for Jin as well. So Eagle Kid asked, like, I thought you dropped out of communications. Uh, so I was like, well, communications, like, well, what are we talking about? Are, are we talking about Among Us? But no, uh, Eagle Kid was talking about uh, about a time when I said I dropped out of university for this thing. Like, he said, uh, I, I think you remember, like, you made a video saying I dropped out to chase my passions a while ago. Yes, man, that is so cool, because that is like, that is ages ago. That is ages ago. All right, so let me give you a little bit of a background here. You know, uh, normally I, I wouldn't really tack on such a, like, like, like a personal story kind of like randomly here, but screw it. You know, like uh, I love that you still remember that video because that video is from like 2017. So uh, to give you a little bit of my uh, personal background, uh, 2015, 
I had to choose what I was going to do with my further education because I uh, I completed high school and I had to I had to choose what I was what I was going to do. At that point in time, I was still very much into like competitive swimming. I have a couple national titles in competitive swimming. My uh, my goal was to be at the Olympics, but being 18, 19 years old and not really being competing at the uh, European or world class levels, uh, I already saw that it was going to be really really hard for me to get into the Olympics. And you have to be like the Olympic champion if you want to make any money in swimming because swimming Let's face it, it's a bit boring. Like, it is really fun to play. I mean, to swim. But to watch it is the most boring thing in the world. So, there's no money in it. And you can only make money if you're really at the top of your game, if you're really like the Olympic champion, and otherwise if you're like the 10th in the world, that's it. So, I had to make a choice. What am I going to do? And I decided that I wanted to study media because I always thought that making media, uh, making TV, making like stuff like this was mighty interesting. And I wanted to do something more than that. And for me, I was like, if I want to do something really, really good, I got to go and take the best course there is for it. Because for me, getting into national level swimming, it was just like I decided to one day go to the best club in, in, in the country and just train with that. So I was like, if I want to be the best in media, I got to go to the best place to learn media, which was university, I believed. So I started studying um, media studies in Amsterdam uh, in like 2016. And around that time, as I did that, I decided, well, let me go make a YouTube channel as well. Because, you know, YouTube is just like this fun little play playground thing. If I can be somewhat good in YouTube, I'll probably be somewhat good in media as well. So... I did that, uh, did that like Warframe thing, like started answering questions, made horrible videos that every single time I would improve upon, which is pretty damn cool. And then over time, I was getting better at that. I was learning so much more about making videos for just like the learning, the editing, learning like the, the scripting process, everything like that. And then I ended up doing like the, the big 72 hour event where we did a 72 hour uh, charity event with over like 30 streamers. And uh, it, was, it, was, it, it was insane. Like we raised a whole bunch of money for uh, I believe Extra Life. Um, we had just like a great big ass event. And um, yeah, that was the very first time that uh, I felt like I was I was doing something bigger than myself. I was doing something that actually meant something. And like, I had people come up to me and say like, hey, uh, can I interview you for like, I'm doing a presentation on school about this. And I was like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? So uh, at that point in time, that stuff was getting a little bit more serious. I also had to go to Canada for like, uh, you know, like the, the, the Warframe stuff and so on. So uh, as that was happening, we were also still continuing the university classes on media. Now, the university class on media, uh, it was, I wouldn't say not interesting. I mean, there, there were definitely things that you would learn from it, but the focus was very much more on like, how do you interpret different things? So every single week we would go to a cinema and we would go and watch a movie. And uh, we would watch that movie and then you'd have to to like write a interpretation of that movie or a review about that movie, like how you felt about the movie or what kind of influence the movie gave to you based on like whatever the theoretical thing was at the time. And it got to the point that to me, it was just, I would have to hand it in, let's say on Friday. So on first day, I would just like be up at like 10 p.m. I would finish it up in like an hour. I would hand it in and I would be done. And I would get like an eight out of 10 or seven out of 10. I would just be a pass. I was like, this shit is easy. Like, I didn't really get anything from it that I was getting from the progression I was making for making my videos. But I figured there is going to come a time where we're not just going to be like writing things out like this, where it's going to be like, oh, you take your sources, you put it all together and you put it in a piece. We're actually going to learn how to actually make media. I'm going to learn how to move a camera. I'm going to learn how to make a program. And that kind of happened uh, in the second year, around the time that, uh, that we just had that big event. Um, there was going to be a practical course on like how to make like TV. And I was super looking forward to it. And uh, we just spent like two whole classes learning how to put clips in Premiere, which basically is like you grab it, you drag it, and then you cut it. And I was like, what? I've been doing that for like a year and a half by now. Where is like the, the color grading? Where is like the, 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 the mise-en-scene? Where's, where's all the advanced stuff that I want to learn? And it was very clear to me at that point in time that we weren't going to get into that. And I was learning so much more from actually doing this at this point in time. And I had this like, like event stuff that just took off. So at that point in time, there became a conflict between, hey, I can like, I can either do this university stuff where I'm doing all this theoretical stuff, but, uh, or I can do this like content creation stuff where I'm actually working in the field and I'm actually making progress. So at that point in time, I made this video where I decided to stop 
following the university course, which I felt wasn't really getting me to the place where I wanted to be. It wasn't really teaching me how to make media. It was more about like, how would you maybe analyze media? And I felt that it, like I could learn a lot more from making it. So that's where I dropped out of university. So I did that. And then for the next couple of years, I went to on to like do more events in Warframe, learn a lot more about content creation. And around the time of 2019, 2020, I decided to change up my content, move out of Warframe. And I wanted to explore a little bit more of like what else I could make and maybe network with some people, maybe go to some conventions to learn about, hey, like I've always been in this bubble of Warframe. How can I extend myself out? However, at that time, something happened that was called a, a pandemic. So I couldn't travel anymore. I couldn't go anywhere. I was stuck in this one room. I couldn't do anything. So for me, I was like, okay, now I don't know what to do in terms of content. I mean, like I could try to do a whole bunch of things, but I don't really have anyone to like go back and forth with. And like, hey, what if I want to try like uh, Age of Empires 2? Or what if I want to try this game? Or, you know, like th that was really hard for me because like I was all by myself and I didn't know where to go. And meeting up with other people and like getting outside of like your own head and now you're outside of your own space, is really helpful, especially what I saw this uh, this year with like TwitchCon. Speaking with people from other games gives you a lot of inspiration, which I really needed at that time. So I figured, probably this right now is a good time to just be like, okay, this ain't gonna work at this point in time. I'm gonna need to wait on this. So let me like put the content creation a bit on like the back burner and let me focus on like a secondary career or like a backup career or whatever, right? And that's when I decided to go back into university, study AI, and that's the university degree that I completed. So the university degree that I dropped out was media because I actually found a better way to learn about media. And the one that I completed was about AI because, um, yeah, I mean, like you can learn about AI for just like practicing on your own, but I actually thought that that study was uh, quite useful. So, uh, so that is my background. When it comes to education and university and the uh, eco kid, I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was really really cool that you're, uh, <laughs> that you remembered that video because that is a really really old video that I made back in 2018. If you want to watch that, oh man, it's like it's it's from years ago. It's from from when I was still like kind of kind of copying Casey Neistat, but uh, it it's fun to watch. It's fun to watch if you're interested in watching that. But yeah, that's that's my background. That is my background uh, of uh, of my education basically and how I came to be here.